Hello everyone, welcome back to Genjin Impact. So, in today's video, we are going to be doing Jean's story quest. Yep, Theo main, main area. And accept. So you can tell that this is one of the early quests because of how the quest marker is. Oh, it's you! Over here! Over here! It's Sarah from the Good Hunter! Oh, finally! I caught you! Is something wrong, Sarah? I have something I'd like the Knights of Pavonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the Acting Grand Master. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. We've met. Well, I heard she has a lot of respect for you. Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh, yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just responsible for selling us the ingredients. So you want the Knights of the Nuis to clear to clear the road? So, so you want someone to teach the uh, those there's a lesson. Okay, so it seems like the dialogue choices in the beginning of the game were different, but now in the late in the later game, they're kind of just more of like one dialogue that's split into two. But anyways, yeah. <sighs> that would be great. Please ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. Sure. Oh, <sighs> help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Thank you. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles the bartender said he's been having some trouble too. Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way in my opinion. I do like the detail that you can actually hear Sino's footsteps instead of, you know, how everyone else you can hear them like kind of stomp with their shoes, but the city doesn't wear any. What do you think this is, kiddo? A fruit juice store? <sighs> how rude! Especially since we're here to help! Help? Oh, yes! You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Great! Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. Do you really need to ask Jean... Jean's involvement with stuff like this? Sorry. And yet, Don Wanieri is somehow so very rich. That's mostly down to Master D. Luke's successful business model. Why are the accounts with Jean? Does she do bookkeeping now, too? Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Jean takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. Paimon never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. The Acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Wow! How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? <sighs> when you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. I suppose I should give her one on the house next time she's here. Although, I doubt the acting Grand Master even has the time to spare for that. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. Come on, let's go and see Jean. 
actually a fun fact. Uh, Gene was actually the very first type star I ever got in this game. Back when I started back in, uh, November of 2021. <laughs> I still remember having so many memories doing these quests in the early game. It feels weird. Especially doing it with a bunch of characters that make absolutely no sense being in Mondstadt. Hey, you two! Margaret? What are you doing here? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? No. <laughs> you mean Diana? No, not her. I imagine Diona's probably still in a tavern. I mean, little Princey. Prince was just home, now he's gone. Did you seriously think Diona was a house cat? <sighs> this is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? I guess we can... I guess we... Uh, sorry. I guess we can have a look through, cat. Nah, you're always such a big softy. But aren't we in the middle of something? Sarah and Charles need our help urgently, too. Let's go and see Jean first. You're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. Paimon thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? What's wrong with that? Jean's a really nice person. I feel like this is a classic case of good person, final lot. Finish finishes last. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. Wait a minute. Okay, that's weird then, because Charles just said that... Hey! Hey! Clearly we're too young to drink, but then she's just like, oh, I'll give you alcohol. Unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean! It is weird, though, how the Traveler's age is constantly thrown all around the time, like, around all the time. Hopefully, okay, I have some done, already done a few uh, story quests, mostly for Month Step. Uh, I still do have some activated, those being Albedo and Eula's, so hopefully, hopefully those don't get in the way. But that does mean I, I don't think I'm going to make individual videos on those quests already, because I'm already somewhat working with Al on Albedo's, and, you know, I don't want to have to... Make a video with half of the stuff already completed. Just doesn't feel doesn't sit right with me. I think maybe I'll can, I can still do Eula, but Eula's the beginning of hers is still at the start of Cleese. I think. I guess that just depends. <coughs> uh, acting Grandmaster. Uh. Oh, uh. Oh. <gasps> Master Jean? Oh, it's our honorary knight. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <coughs> make arrangements. Accordingly. Great! We didn't miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? Sarah's Hilly Churls, Charles' Tax Return, Margaret's Cat. Seems that's everything. We'll be on our way then, Jean. Jean, are you okay? Something's wrong with Jean, and you brought, you brought her to the Cathedral in search of assistance. So, we're gonna bring her to his sister. I mean, Barbara is a healer, so I guess that wouldn't wouldn't necessarily be an issue. Well, not an issue, but I understand how that it's a smart move. How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise, though. 
She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. Okay, this line made me suspect that these two were sis that they were both sisters during the beginning. Like when I first started. You seem to really care about Jean. Oh, uh, you think so? I, I, I mean, she's the acting grandmaster and all. We can't have her collapsing all the time now, can we? What does she hide the fact that they're so, sisters? So, you know, it's not like this is a personal thing. It's just out of love for uh, concern for the greater good. Yes, that's it. What's up with Barbara? Huh. Weird. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? While the master is down, the knights should share her burden, no? That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do that? Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just me here. Paimon feels like she's trying to get rid of us. Why is that? Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm just I'm just running through through the church, and all of a sudden I hear sinner, just aggressively. <laughs> Wonder who that was about. It's definitely not about the half naked naked guy running through the church. Again, it's weird how these feel like, you know, they feel super short at times, and then other times they take forever. Yep, I feel like it's kind of uh, ironic that I'm doing this to Sino, because Sino was actually one of the first characters to actually appear in the series. So, there's actually a webtoon you can read uh, about Genshin Impact that, kinda, that came out a little bit before the game itself first came out. And the only characters that were actually in it were Amber, Lisa, Kaya, Jean, D. Luke, which, you know, you already, you know, the characters from the beginning. But then they also introduced Kali and Sino. Kali and Amber were the main focus of it, which is where you can actually, you can actually... Oh, it's Kaya! Have an interesting read of Kali's back. I've been waiting for you. I have been informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. So courteous and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Now, in addition to that thank you message, there was one other thing. You have a job for us. It's like you read my mind. We have quite a connection, don't you think? Things like helping to fill in for Jean. Can you stop flirting right. with me for five minutes, Gaia? Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone else, I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. So I am hoping that you can help out where you see fit. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the Honorary Knight is personally overseeing these cases. You can flatter us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. There are so many things to... to prepare. <sighs> Fine, then. So it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret's stuff you want us to help with, right? Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See... That's weird. Cut out. Okay, then. Okay, now that's an actual detail I'm glad they added. You can actually see him walking away. I don't think it back. I don't think that actually happens in any other story quest. At least none that none I can remember. So, this story quest actually assigned me, like, several smaller story quests. Can't remember the last time we've done that. Oh, it's Venti. Hi. So... Yours is the cat that went missing. Venti! Have you come to help? 
me here to help you. Why, on the contrary, it is I who needs the helping. But Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free-spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small, still, it's a bit audacious. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right. Sorry. Spoken just like a... Sorry. Spoken just like a parent who choose... Who choose to spoil... Spoil said rascal. Indeed. <sighs> just like Barbados. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, quite, quite. <clears throat> now, let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? Mm -hmm. Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. Yeah, it's obvious. What? You didn't know that, Paimon? These lyre strings are made of astral iron, which contains animo energy. That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them easier to carry. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. The strings contain animo energy? That'll help us! It's time for you to use your elemental sight again! I'm unsure there must be some elemental footprints or something! Thank you all. Prints should be somewhere around the marketplace or the residential area. It's a black cat you're looking for. Uh, oh, take this fish. It's Little Prince's favorite food. Maybe it'll help you find him. Okay, so... It just brought up an interesting question to me. Who exactly can use Elemental Sight? Is it just Vision Bearers, or is it anyone with any level of Elemental Power? Because the Traveler obviously doesn't possess an element, doesn't possess a Vision, and neither do any of the gods. And sometimes it it does seem like non-vision bears hey, also look! have uh, that black cat sight. looks really familiar. Haven't we seen it in the cat's tail before? Oh, <gasps> yep, that's Prince, all right. Hard work is all there. Wow, Prince has very keen senses. It didn't take much to scare him off. See if you can approach him crouching from behind. That way, your footsteps will be quieter. It must be difficult not being able to float. If you're anxious to find Prince, why not coax him to you with some fish? Kitty cats do love eating fish. If you run out of fish, go grab some from the lake. Now back to it. Yeah, this quest definitely feels like a... Like it's still trying to ease the player into... Into like the game. Oops. Hmm. His senses are keener than we thought. He can't have gone far, though. Why not track him with your elemental sight? Next time, try creeping up from behind. Monster. Quietly, of course. Gosh. Or, if you're oh feeling gosh, patient, use feeling. some fish as bait and catch him off guard. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep dodge rolling every five seconds, but okay. His senses are keener than we thought. He can't have gone far, though. Why not track him with your elemental sight? Next time, try creeping up from behind. Quietly, of course. Or, if you're feeling patient, use some Jewel fish as bait and catch Come him off guard. Up. Come in, take a seat. We have a few specials today at Angel Share. And there we go. It, the game will load. Okay, there we go. Suddenly, just turned into a into a like six foot tall man. But okay then. One character. Jewels from Liyue. Come take a look. Where did you go running off to? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. 
We definitely had our work cut out for us looking for him. Oh, Princey, how could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. And here are your astral iron strings, Venti. You found them! <laughs> Wonderful! I was not optimistic they would turn up. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, what? Uh, <coughs> Apologies. At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? Wait, how does a god <laughs> anyway, have an allergy to a for the cat? Help. I'll be going now. <laughs> I can swear I can see somebody making like a little drawing or something. And then he's just sneezing and just completely destroying something. I mean, he is the god of wind. Or animo, I guess. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, it's weird that you can hear different people talk. Oh, yep, it's them. I do find it interesting that those characters, like, specifically those pair, you can constantly either talk to them or just overhear them talking about stuff, like, pretty much anything involving the previous, the most recent Arkham Quest you've finished. Which does, like, I do like how, like, their dialogue changes. Lisa! Are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Those two are so dating. Cool! Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering... Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. If it's not too much trouble, could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? What's so urgent about this order? <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, again with the characters just walking away. Where did that, where did that end? Take a look. I mean, I get it that most uh, story quests don't involve other characters, but the ones that do should still add this. And let me guess, Amber's going to be over here? Yep. Might as well talk with her, too. Got it. All set off right away. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly trails on the delivery route? Oh. Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint. You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> yep. She's, she's, no, something's got, something's happening. Honestly, I know what it is too, but I'm just not gonna say in case you no, know, in case you know whoever's watching this doesn't know how it ends. I'm not saying a thing. Okay, guess the lights will just just turn off. It's like, oh wait, it's a shooting time. But all fires go out now. Anyways, I can help with the cooking. Really? You don't mind helping? Oh, that would be wonderful. You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful too. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure she can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the Good Hunter's business. A fight? For this dish, we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Okay, go and get ready. You too, Amber. Oh, oh yes, okay. Right. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, but I know exactly what dish she's talking about. She's talking about a sweet madame. But I think I'm going to end this video here. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you like and subscribe and have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!
Today's